Hello students, welcome to Crack Grade B online learning platform. Today we have special guest with us, Mr. Sumit Kumar. He has secured All India Rank 4 in Central Food Safety Officer exam of FSSCI. So today he will share his journey, how he has prepared for this exam. So first of all, many congratulations to you. Thank Mr. you so much. So uh, he will share his journey. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Sumit Kumar. I graduated from IIT Roorkee in biotechnology branch in 2018. Post that, I appeared for civil services examination and also have some experience of working in corporate sector. Now I will be, I will be joining a CFSO in Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. I got to know about this recruitment in 2021 and from there on I pursued my journey further. So uh, first of all, uh, Sumit this uh, exam so whenever any student is going to start his preparation he starts searching sources through google or youtube so there are number of sources available and how did you come to know about our platform okay after i saw the notification i saw that yes i am eligible for exam my first step was to watch the syllabus and i googled that from where i can prepare these topics so in third or fourth recommendation of Google, I came to know about Crack Grade B, a platform which focuses on exams of regulatory bodies. And then I contacted Sir and he was very humble. He told me about the booklets they have, the tests they will provide me. So I thought that yes, there is so much uh, less available in the market. So it would be better that I have a concise material of the exam. So from Google, I came to know about the coaching and I approached them. Okay, now comes to the part of your preparation, CBT1 and CBT2. There are yes. two exams in this uh, recruitment process. So first, <coughs> CBT1. There are different, different sections also there. English, reasoning, computer and general awareness plus uh, regulatory part of the FSSI. Yes, yes and technical part so what were your sources and how did you prepare any advice for the future aspirants also sure the central food safety officer exam as conducted by fssai is of a two tier exam two stage exam the stage one has both technical aspect of the job as well as the common aspects like english reasoning computer gk and all that stuff so in stage one of the exam, there were 120 questions asked, uh, 80 questions were from the core part, 40 questions from our normal GK math uh, reasoning and all that this stuff. So my approach uh, was ki I'll prepare first my foundation of technical part because I'm not from food science or food technology background. So a solid foundation is the first priority, which I am, I prepared from the material I got from Craig Grade B. My foundation was good from that material because each and every topic was thoroughly covered. From each line of syllabus there were around 30 or 40 pages which were more than enough to cover the technical part. For the English reasoning, computer and GK, I'll suggest some very basic sources. For example, English any Aryan book or the sources preferred by CGL aspirants will do the job. Reasoning, I must say, take 100 or 200 questions from any CGL previous year uh, question paper and I think you will sail through reasoning part. For computer also, you can grab any IBPS computer capsule or model PDF which is easily available. And I think ZK is, you know, very open-ended topic. So six or seven questions out of 10 will do the job because two or three questions, I think you will, uh, you know, you, we cannot prepare for each and every question in GK. One or two questions will be there, which we will falter there. Apart from that, there is in technical aspect, there is the act part, there is other international bodies part, and then the core food technology part. I think for all that aspect, the crack grade B material will provide a solid foundation. You, you know, you can uh, go for other sources above that, but for find a foundation, you have to stick to a basic material and revise it over and over. And I think this material will do the job. For me, it did very well. 
So, uh, how much you uh, scored in the CBT one? In CBT one, my score was three sixty out of four eighty, and my best part was the act part because I think all the questions were correct in that and this English reasoning that part. The technical part, uh, I missed on some questions because I was not that thoroughly prepared on that. Okay, and. Uh, how long you prepared for the CBT one means how many months uh, you devote your preparation for CBT one I think 90 days around three months that's the amount of time I took to prepare for CBT one okay. and uh, after CBT one now comes to the CBT two part so CBT two part this time the one uh, one notification they released uh, then they told that 80 questions will be there and different yes. different parameters uh, were given for the evaluation or for marking system yes yes so for that how did you prepare means uh, for every topic you have to means uh, after seeing the notification every student was having in their mind that they have to study in very much depth because uh, multiple option mm -hmm. correct option but later on that uh, notification was changed. was changed so finally that uh, for this uh, what was your strategy means to get maximum score in cbt2 and uh, what was your final score in cbt2 okay coming on to cbt2 after qualifying cbt1 uh, a fresh notification was introduced for cbt2 and the number of questions was re restricted to 80 questions and only the core aspect of CBT1 was taken over by the CBT2 exam. So, of course, we thought that the questions might be from more depth because the syllabus is limited and a whole new stage is being conducted for that. So, I'll tell you about what my strategy was. For CBT2, I again revised the basics from my material from Crack Grade B, but I did some steps further from that which I'll share. The first and most important aspect was to comb the website of Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSCI, because a lot of questions were asked from their regulations, frequently asked questions, FAQs, other initiatives of the department and a lot of other things uh, which I got to know from website and plenty of questions were asked from there. So from basics from the material thorough research from the website and as many questions as you can practice from different sources like books which are available in the market you can easily order one or two book which can give you practice questions around two three thousand i think revising all these stuffs together gave me a solid confidence that i can approach cbt2 okay and uh, any advice uh, you want to share with the future aspirants that any mistake during your preparation you made they should not do that and uh, any other advice so that they can score good marks on their preparation couple of advice i must say never leg neglect the uh, english reasoning part because it's highly scoring students keep on focusing on the core part but in cbt1 please focus on this part because it will reward you richly and apart from that, I'll suggest to keep your sources minimum and revise them again and again. Because questions are not that much tedious, but when we wander in a lot of resources, then the revision becomes limited and we falter, we get confused in the options. So I'll suggest keep your sources minimum and revise them again and again. And uh, any difficulty during your preparation you faced, uh, because many of the students they are uh, trying from last two three years for different different exams so sometimes it comes in the mind that uh, whether i will be clear whether i will be able to clear this exam or not then a fear of failure is also there in many students so did you go, go through that stage or any if you went through that stage then how did you tackle that one of course there are some stages uh, during your preparation because this exam took you know 12, uh, more than a year so there will be some uh, phases where you will feel ki i might fail or i'm investing so much if anything goes wrong then i'm back to square one 
so yeah there were some phases like that but i took some time off and for boosting my confidence i practiced many questions which certainly turned around my mood gave me more confidence and of course there are some people that you connect to you know to share your feelings one of them was sir i routinely called him i whatsapped him questions about my doubts and he was very much accessible so that was the best part because the exam is not that popular and there are not that many aspirants so there are not much persons with whom you can connect and ask your doubts or you know about the exam so that's how i cope up with those phases stages and one more question that uh, you were a full time working aspirant yes so how did you manage the time for your preparation mm, yes i was working in corporate sector while i was preparing for this exam uh, the syllabus is not that much uh, i must say this is very clear thing the syllabus is quite limited but still you have to give two or three hours if you are preparing in a restricted time like i was i have just i had just 3 months for cbt1 so uh, uh, my weekends were free so i uh, used them very sincerely and two or three hours i uh, daily you know sidelined for this exam after my office or some day before my office so i think that was more than enough if we keep on revising keep us resources limited so i think that much time will do the job Uh, one more thing that uh, we have seen in, um, in every exams students while preparing their uh, for the any exam what they will start doing that they will start searching the resources mm-hmm. then they will start doing that to collect the material of this source this source many sources so what we what what, what will be your advice to the students that uh, is uh, this type of things are beneficial for the student what i would be suggesting to you is that yeah this is our first step ki we saw the slavers then we go online try to search the best possible resource against the slavers this is what i did but my suggestion is ki stick to one material if you uh, uh, search you find some material quite meaningful and in harmony with the slavers go for it but stick to it and go absolutely thorough with it revise it as many times as possible venture out to another material only when you are thorough with your base material that will give you the maximum benefit if you pur- purchase a material from two or three institutes or from websites and you read them partially i am sure that won't help you much so please uh, stick to one material go through it and when you are absolutely sure that you won't miss a single question from this material then you can of course you know go to other materials um, build your base from there also but uh, sticking to one material and revising it thoroughly is my singular advice to all of you also many students as this is food safety related exam yes. food tech related exam so many students who are eligible like biotech and other branches they also have myth that it is difficult for them to clear this exam to compete with the food tech students so he has uh, an example in front of you that uh, he has secured all india rank for in central food safety officer exam so uh, what will be your uh, suggestion for all those uh, aspirants uh, yeah my branch was not totally in harmony with the exam because i am from biotechnology and the exam is more food oriented my suggestion is that syllabus is not that tedious that a person cannot do from other branch the syllabus asked was very basic very basic of food science which can be easily covered in the given time frame so i must say if you are eligible if you have the if you want to crack the exam things are not that tough that if you read and you do not understand you know there is always help available from institutes like crack grade b from online uh, websites also from google you can google the topics which you cannot understand but it's not that difficult the questions are not asked from a very deep food science technology you no know, there are very basic questions and i think from the given material available in the market you can easily prepare for this exam 
Okay, so any uh, suggestion or advice to the all the future uh, aspirants of uh, Central Food Safety Officer exam, Technical Officer exam? Um, my advice is that I wish you all the best. Please do pursue the exam, and it's a good opportunity for all the people out there. Uh, make your strategy, go for the material, revise it umpteen times, and do as many questions as you want, and. Uh, I can assure you that you will be there in the selection list. So, uh, this uh, session is going to benefit you and uh, you can follow the same strategy by your preparation. So, thank you Sumit for thank joining you so much, with us sir. and it will definitely help the future aspirants and they will clear their many doubts. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot sir.